Good morning guys! Welcome to this week in my life video. Today, obviously, it's Monday. Let me show you guys the outfit. I skipped work today because I have so many hours and just wanted to have a family day today. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing these little I don't know, this reminds me of a whole sailor look, so. Anyway, I think the fam and I are gonna do a little breakfast at Starbucks. I'm excited. Okay, so we're on our way to Starbucks, and I mainly got ready, so my bag that I purchased on eBay, as you guys know, there's a whole song about that, watch the other video, but my gym bag is supposed to come, and I wanna film like a main channel style video about the gym bag and like what's in it and everything, so that's why I got ready and can't wait for that thing to come. I hope it comes today because I'm gonna be waiting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Got the Starbucks. This is a venti chai tea. Such a, such a treat drink for me. And then Sherry, what'd you get? Um, she got egg bites. Bacon and Gruyere egg bites. And then a tall Americano. Tall Americano. Okay, so I finally got my gym bag. If you guys don't know like what went on with this gym bag, it was just a little bit of a story, but I'm so happy it's here. I'm so excited to see it. I hope it's like in good condition. So far, she looks like she's in good condition. It's a Lululemon, but like it's a really old Lululemon, so it's like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It looks like a purse almost. I really like that. Okay, okay. Actually, it's it's in really good condition. Wow. Love how you can like hold a big strap like this, and it just like just a miniature little duffel. How cute! I love that it came with the strap. And looking on inside of it. Okay, good. It doesn't like smell bad at all either. And I got some new premium underwear. Trust me, no one's worn this because like I can tell. This came with it then okay i don't know i'm probably gonna throw these out because or maybe i will put them on ebay or something because they still have the tag so like clearly no one's worn them but still that's kind of weird but i guess they threw those in just for like a bonus then we have the little sweat bag here i probably won't use it for that because i don't know i don't want it to like get disgusting and then the inside just looks like this so there's like a pocket here and here there's like a zip pocket so there's like a zip pocket that's pretty much it like that's the bag and it's in really good condition again like I said I'm kind of surprised I'm happy and I love the front she's so cute then we have the long strap I feel like I just did this but I got everything out of it and then here's like you could put a water bottle here but I'll probably just like keep my water bottle like in this small one let's see if it'll fit let's let's test this out here oh wow that actually like it works but I probably won't keep it in there because I won't want it to like fall out and then break another lid of my hydro flask but I'm gonna do a what's in my gym bag like right now that's why I wanted to like put on makeup and stuff because I wanted to film this video because I haven't filmed on my big camera in like ages so it'll be kind of fun I have all the stuff in here that I want to like keep in it like clearly like all the stuff it's a little stuffed in there um, but I want to show you guys I'm so excited and I don't know I think it'll be good for on the go and I like the design it's the perfect size <laughs> Bless you, Sherry. Okay, so I just got done filming what's in my gym bag and it was super fun. It's always so fun filming like in front of here and just on my big camera and feeling like the old YouTube days. It's the best feeling whether or not anyone watches a video or not. It's just super fun for me. So I merely just film these videos for fun. But surprisingly, the what's in my whatever you know, like bag or what's on my iPhone, those still get pretty good views, so I can't complain. Just got out of the shower and now it's dinner, having some beautiful salmon with Brussels sprouts, but they're not here yet, and probably some mac and cheese, cause mac and cheese, oh my God. Mother's got crab cakes. I have salmon cake. Salmon cake, oh, got some Brussels sprouts too. is 536 and I'm here at Cycle Bar. 
I have a couple more minutes before I'm gonna head in, but that clock is a little fast. But it's so funny, my friend Autumn works here now. I feel like I'm like a recruit or something for Cycle Bar and people working here because now this is the third person that like is my friend that like works there now. So I think it's hilarious. But um, first day trying the new gym bag. It is kind of counterproductive the fact that I have to keep my change of clothes like in my purse. But then again, like my purse has like, my everyday bag has, you know, my belt bag and stuff that has like my wallet and all of that. So I don't know. I just wanted a place for all like the fitness stuff and a change of clothes isn't fitness, I guess. So I don't know. I'm just trying to justify my purchase, <laughs> but overall I think it'll be good. Cause then I can just like carry this bag. I'm trying to make myself feel better. Okay. <laughs> okay. So update, I got it all to fit and I think if I, didn't have to pack jeans it would be a lot better fit but I got it all in I could even like stuff my water bottle like in there but I'm but I'm probably just gonna end up carrying it but overall if I packed like lighter clothing items again like the jeans my top and bra fit in there like just fine so I think that's all the only thing I have to carry in which would be amazing because like carrying in both just not the vibe. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of cycle bar and the bag actually worked really well, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna end up carrying both bags in. It's fine. I am going to go to Starbucks now and get my drink. My hair's still looking crazy. It's kind of dirty. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. I'm wearing this outfit. It's just like jeans and this top, which this top came, uh, it was like a hand-me-down and I actually really like it um it's not something that I would like pick out in a store but like I like it so and it's easy to pack that's another reason why I like it <laughs> got the beverage and she made it so well like I didn't have to say anything which I'm so happy about most of the time like I don't have to say anything but still like I always get nervous because I don't like being that customer you know what I mean We made it to Cycle Bar. Guys, I totally forgot to vlog last night, but we had salads and baked potatoes again. It was pretty good. I had some Triscuits as well, just cause I was still hungry. It's almost that time of the month and I always get so, so hungry. Tonight we're having Donato's pizza, which I'm so excited about. Such a treat. It's like 20 minutes from my work, so it's a little bit of a drive, but it's like 40 minutes away from my actual house. And that is with tolls, so you know, it's fine. The pizza's not that expensive, so um, I just do the mobile order and then I go in, pick it up, and then go home. So because we're having pizza tonight and whatever, I am obviously here at Cycle Bar. Uh, it's one of those things that I'm just like, um, I need to need to do a little workout if I'm gonna have these treat treats all the time. So it's like compromise, you know, balance. It's all about balance, guys. <laughs> Cause I wasn't gonna come today, but then I saw this, the class time and I'm like, oh, I can make it work. So it's a 6 a.m. class. I actually really like this time to be honest. The 545 is a stretch and like, I will, I'm not gonna lie, it's like really hard to, to get up and do, but then you feel amazing after. Yeah, I don't know, but here now and going to just rock my ride and then go home it's hair washing day so I'm gonna just like wash this rat's nest and yeah um, I don't have really anything else to say I keep on forgetting I'm doing weekly vlogs especially this week so that's why I haven't picked up the camera but I hope you guys enjoyed um, that other video. I know this lighting is really, really bad. Maybe that's a little better. When I do have stuff to film, like I will upload three times. If not, I don't want to just like force myself and like pull anything out of my ass just to have a video up. So, um, when I do have a purpose, I will post it three times, but if I don't, then it's the two times a week. That's kind of like what I thought about in my head and everything. Okay. I am going to head in now and I'll see you guys whenever I pick up the camera again. All right, so I got my Starbucks. I ended up going with, so I ended up going with the iced espresso because I have to do something this morning and 
and like I have a meeting and I won't be able I have to like go home shower everything like that and I know that I won't have time to like even relax like really one minute so got the iced espresso because it will help keep me awake with the jolt of caffeine and now I'm heading home to shower, like wash my hair, all that stuff. Also too, I think it's time that I'm gonna release this top into the trash can because I love it so much. This is like one of my favorite pieces and the whole reason why I kept it was because I loved the color. I'm the most comfortable while working out in this top. Like I will be completely honest, like Lululemon, it just, it's a really, really good brand, especially this model of top. Anyway, it's a really good model of top and I love the way it fits, feels, etc. But it's starting to get that like sweat smell and I didn't realize it. I swear, I'm not trying to be mean again, but when people like smell during the class, it is horrible, okay? Cause then I think it's me and then I don't know, but then after the class when they like walk by I'm like okay it wasn't completely me but even though I know that this is my smelly top so I think I'm just gonna like get rid of it I know it's like $68 in the trash can literally because this top was that expensive but I just my sense of smell is just so sensitive and I can't be dealing with that you know like it is ridiculous so I think I'm gonna let it go um, I only really wear this top too when I know I'm gonna go home and shower immediately. Like I like on Saturdays sometimes I wear it. That's the only time because I it just like disgusts me. But I like the color, if you know what I mean. And I, again, I love the fit. So I don't know. It's one of those dilemmas that's not that important. But I decided to share it with you guys because yeah, I don't know because it, it's just a topic on my mind. <sighs> anyway gonna hurry home do all the things and get to work Woohoo! also to side note <laughs> you know how I always say that that Starbucks that I just went to well there's one Starbucks that I always say oh it's cheaper than the rest I swear they changed their prices it was more expensive I don't know what's going on I mean I know inflation but they have always been like the go-to for drinks that are more expensive because it's always cheaper there. I don't know what's going on. It wasn't cheaper today. <laughs> so anyway. Okay so I'm back and this is what my outfit looks like. I haven't worn this top in forever. So I have the funniest story to tell you because I was in the kitchen actually. I was looking at dresses and I was, I was showing Sherry like the options and I think I'm gonna order it today. Just so I can try it on and everything. Um, so I was sloshing my coffee and I it literally just slips. Like the lid, I guess, wasn't on tight. And it slips and it goes all over my other white pants. So I have white like dress pants and then these are white jeans. So it goes everywhere. I will insert a picture so you guys can see. But oh my gosh. So I had to quickly like change and then yeah, so crazy. <laughs> Okay, so I just got off work and I'm on my way to go pick up the pizzas and I got 30% off for using the code HOT on the app, so I'm happy about that. We love Donato's, as you guys know, and it's just so good. So, I'm um, gonna go in there now and I think I'm gonna be rude. I think I'm gonna, because my pizza's already made, I just need to run in and get it, so I think I'm gonna be one of those rude people and just like park near the the entrance I know it's so bad but like honestly it should be fine I'll be in there like less than like two minutes so I'm not gonna stress about it I'll show you guys the pizza when I get home because I know I'll just be like hurrying to get back in my car guys I also wanted to admit something I'm not a big fan of the Lululemon bag I think I'm gonna sell it um I bought a fake the tote bag on Amazon and I think I'm gonna use that it's a lot more structured and I know everything will fit because it's kind of like this bag um, it's kind of like my never full but obviously my never full won't fit everything like all my gem stuff well it would but like I want a separate bag yeah guys it's just not working out cuz like the opening 
if the opening matched the width of the bag, it would be better. But like, I don't know. Um, I kind of agree with one of the sellers that it was like, it was great, but it was just a little too small. And honestly, I think that's about it. And it's like a slouchy bag, you know, like it's hard to describe. Like I'm sure you could see in the photos and stuff. It's a slouchy bag that is just not, Ooh, I'm dark. Um, sorry. You can't see anything. Okay. Now you can. Um, it's just slouchy and like kind of heavy and for what it's being used for, like, I don't know. I kind of just want a structured thing. So I got the tote bag, which I will probably show in, well, it's supposed to be here on Friday. So I'll show you on Friday. I'm going to list the Lululemon bag on eBay so I can sell it. I know it'll probably sell because it is Lululemon, but I wasn't vibing with it. So <laughs> why keep something if I don't like it? And so I got the tote bag on Amazon and it was like 40 bucks and that's like the perfect amount. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting that and just seeing how that works. So, yeah. Before I forget to vlog, well, here's mother. And here's other Hi. mother. Ooh, you know. Ooh, pepperoni Ooh. pizza. And I got cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Accidentally left the vlog camera at home after the pizza. I think it's still on the couch. But I'm trying to redeem myself with my espresso drink because of the accident that happened yesterday. So happy Thursday guys. Um, I am just going to relax in on my way to work and hopefully this doesn't spill. <laughs> so it is Thursday and I'm headed to Cycle Bar. I love going Thursday evenings because I love Christine's class. And yeah, tonight is it's not Dirty Dancing, I think it's Mama Mia, which is gonna be fun. She always does these like really fun themes. So I'm just headed there now and hoping this traffic is going to get better because this road is always just so congested. It's so annoying. Okay, so I made it and uh, I kind of had to give up, but I'm still like not in the garage. I'm still like out in the main land area. Um, all these cars were getting so mad because I was just like hanging out. I'm like, bro, you can just go around me, even though I couldn't like roll down my window. So they eventually just went around. But I'm like, um, do you not know the technique? But it's fine. I got a good parking spot, an okay one. It's okay. It is currently 9.02 and I'm having my salad and turkey because I went to Cycle Bar, as you guys saw. So I'm just going to dig in. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it. We made it to Friday. So there's like a really angry person, like always behind me. I hope they have a really serious emergency because honk your horn, people like relax. Okay, got my Starbucks and I forgot the camera again. I think it's still on the couch. I should have grabbed it, but I was taking pictures of my gym bag so I can sell it. My, the one on Amazon's coming today, so It'll definitely like pay for itself because I'm just going to sell the one I have. So <laughs> yeah, that was a really bad, that was just a bad purchase on my end and kind of impulsive, which was not smart, obviously. So, um, it's okay though. I wouldn't know if I hadn't tried and stuff. I'm just headed to work and going to listen to a vlog. Okay. Just got off work. It's super rainy. I had a little appetizer before dinner because it's going to take me like 45 minutes to get home. And honestly, it's about that time. Like the lady friend comes, AKA period. And I get, when I get hungry, when it's about that time, I like, I'm starving. Like, and when I say starving, I mean, starve, starving. So I like feel myself not shake, but it's just like this feeling and I'm like, I need to eat. So got myself some chips, gonna head home now. I got two packages that I wanna unbox for you guys. So I'll probably do that after dinner to finish up this video. Just thought I would share with you guys that I had a snacky because, oh my gosh, I'm just so hungry. Um, tonight is pasta night. I asked my mom to give me a small bowl of pasta because portion control, oh my gosh. The mac and cheese was no portion control. Last time we had um, pasta, I didn't have any portion control. So this time I'm gonna try and it normally works out. 
um because we have bread and i have vegetables with it so anyway i'm gonna go home now all right so as you guys can see got my brussels sprouts here mothers have uh spaghetti and meatballs i have my spaghetti of course got it in the small bowl this time and then some bread right here okay so obviously that was such a good dinner had the bread had just the right amount of pasta but my birthday dress came in and my little bag that i got from amazon came hopefully it's good um crossing my fingers but this is the dress Ooh, i'm so excited i hope it's like good it would it seems good it seems it seems like my uh it's similar to my christmas dress it kind of has like a straight line here and then the sleeves are a little like puffy and then it's like that body tight style so it's really cute i got it on amazon i don't know what it's actually called because this tag doesn't have anything it's called fashion <laughs> and i got a size medium yeah, that's what the dress looks like. I think it's cute. I'm gonna try it on later, not right now, cause I'm just like chilling out. And then next up we have my bag. This is a heavily inspired, kind of like a dupe of the, of the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Let's see what it looks like. I'm hoping this is not a, oh my gosh, this is totally not a disappointment. It looks like the real thing. Holy cow. This is like my first time buying a dupe of something, something like this. And this was like 40 bucks, man. Look at how, oh my gosh, this will be perfect for all my stuff. Holy cow, look how adorable. Do you like it, Cherry? And then this is the strap that comes with it. I can't believe this is 40 bucks. The real ones like go for 200 something, I don't know. I think my parents might have gotten it for me for Christmas. And if I like this one, maybe I'll ask for the real one for Christmas and then like sell this one. But like, I wanna see if I like the item first, you know? So I think I will. This will be like such a good gym bag because it's structured, it'll fit everything. And I just, and it has like these little pockets here. Kind of, this is like really similar to the real one. Oh my goodness, I'm so shocked. Like, look at that. Two pockets here, one, two, and then we have the zipper. Oh my gosh, I think the zipper's broken. <laughs> Hold on. Guys, do you see this? Like, it's like this. I'm Put just gonna, back. Back. well, I will. Hold on, mother's yelling at me. Okay, there we go. There we go, back and forth. We're good, we're good. Man, I'm impressed. I should go to, there's this Dior bag that I want too that's like 30 bucks on Amazon. I'm thinking about just getting it cause this is, looks exactly like, no one would know really. I mean, it doesn't say Marc Jacobs on it, but it still looks exactly the same. And like, okay, so the quality, you can definitely tell it's like cheaper, but that's because it is cheaper. Anyway, I'll show you guys all the stuff. Like when I try on the dress, I'll put everything in here and see if it fits. But I wanted to show you guys the bag. So honestly, it's perfect. Um, and Really, this bag and the other bag are not that much different in size wise. But as you can see, this one like collapses and this one doesn't. It's pretty like structured. So um, I typically carry my water bottle, but everything else like fits perfect. And I can even fit like my change of clothes in here. I'm thinking about just keeping this in my car because I never use it anyway. But the rest of the stuff I do use so I can honestly like fit everything in here because i call this like the mouth but the opening of the bag is a lot wider than this one so just wanted to give you guys an update on the bag situation and i absolutely love to here like i can put my phone i swear like this thing looks exactly like the real one <laughs> i'm still shocked i am still shocked and there's my brush okay so this is the dress and i think it fits well Sorry, the lighting is like super, super weird. Yeah, this is my little birthday dress. It was only like 30 bucks on Amazon. I can't complain. I think it looks nice. And it's really, really comfy. And the back just looks like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.